What is good creative? Sunjay again from Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create another 3D typographic design. But this time, we're going to be using this to achieve a movie poster. So if you need the exercise file, you know what to do. Simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. I already created a Cinema 4D project for you. Well, so what you're just going to do is to create your vector project with Illustrator and take it to Cinema 4D to convert it to a 3D object. And then you now do the final color grading with Photoshop. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this tutorial. So sit back, relax, and keep watching. Inside the exercise file link, you're going to find this Illustrator project. All right. So if in case you're planning to use this concept for your other Cinema 4D project, all right, don't forget to delete this, all right, and make sure that whatever you are going to uh, place on this artboard should not go outside of the artboard. Make sure everything is right at the center of the artboard, all right? So right now, I'm going to hit Ctrl Z to bring back the project I already created for this tutorial. I'm going to take this as a format that we can use in Cinema 4D. All right. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Shift and S to do that. And all right, you can just come here and then put underscore and put two and then hit the save uh, button. All right. Then here now this is the most important part here now make sure that your version here is set to illustrator 8 is very important make sure you set that to illustrator 8 and i'm going to hit the ok button and bam that's it so the next thing we're going to do now is to go to cinema 4d and convert this to a 3d object so here we are now in cinema 4d and i already create the scene for you so the only thing you just need to do now is to import the illustrator project so to import it, you're just going to click on file here and select merge. And you are going to have this popped up on your screen and select title two, which is the title that we just designed with Illustrator or saved from Illustrator. All right. So I'm going to hit the open option here. And right now I'm just going to hit the OK button and look at this. We have it here. All right. This is the uh, Illustrator project here. But please, after importing this, remember to scale this real big so that the extrude that I created for you can work perfectly, all right? So I'm gonna move this, uh, let's just move this, let's let's scale it a bit more, all right? I'm gonna scale it a bit more. Now, there's another thing I want you guys to understand here. Now, if you look at this side of my Cinema 4D project, you see the gray color of the left and right of my Cinema 4D project here is um, darker than the gray at the center. So this center, frame here is the work area anything you you place outside of this light gray color here is not going to be part of the scene and this is what i'm saying so if you place your object out here or let's say you scale it this big like that is this part where we have all this outline out or out of the frame are not going to be part of the scene all right so I'm going to control Z now to go back and then I'm going to uh, click on the plus side because we need to take this out from the group. All right. So I'm going to shift select part one and hold on, still hold on shift and select part 10 here and drag this out. So right now we don't need this. I'm going to hit select the title uh, group and hit delete. And then I'm going to select the parts here and right click and select connect objects plus delete. And now we have this as one layer. So I'm going to drag this and drop inside the extrude. Now, this plain object you're looking at here is the light that's going to give the uh, 3D the gradient look. All right. So, and that's the reason why I made the panel this close to our 3D object. So the closer it is, the brighter the gradient uh, effect. All right. So if I hit the render button here, you're going to see what I'm trying to make you understand here. Now, look at this. Now, this side of my 3D object is brighter than the bottom part of my 3D object. Now, the reason why it's like that is because of this plane that I have here. So without the plane, we are not going to have that effect. So the closer you make the plane, because you can always adjust the plane just in case you want to use it for other projects, you can make this more closer. All right. You can push it down. All right, but make sure you don't push it to the point where we are now seeing part of the 3D object like the way we have it now. 
So I'm going to move this up to the, about this point and I'm going to hit the render button again to just see the effect of the, the gradient on my 3D object. I think I prefer it this way. I'm sure you're having fun. So if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with other creatives. Let's continue. All right. Now, there are times when you may want to change the color. Just in case you have another project you want to use this for, you can just simply double click on this material here and just give this another color. All right. You can just give this another color of your choice. And now, if I hit the red button again, you're going to see that we're still going to achieve something cool with the color that we just changed this to. So I'm going to close this so you guys can see. Now, look at this. This is beautiful. But because of the project I'm working on, because uh, before applying color to your 3D, it's always good to understand your background. So I already have everything set for you. The only thing you just need to do here is to come under save here and locate where you want your 3D object saved. All right. So I'm going to just click on this like that and give your 3D object a name. I'm going to give this tutorial. All right. I'm going to call this tutorial like that. And I'm going to hit the save button here and now i'm going to just close this and hit the render to picture view button here wow so this is it so this is the final render and let's take this to photoshop and make this make our project look more movie poster like so this is these are the two files that you're going to get from cinema 4d after hitting the render button all right so i'm going to drag this and drop here first and i'm going to go back to the folder again and drag this and drop here so i'm holding down shift as i drag and drop to place this at the center of my photoshop project frame all right so yeah i'm going to hit the enter button now and then i am going to go straight on the channels here and i'm going to hold down control and make sure that my mouse is on the thumbnail of the blue channel all right so i'm going to click now to create a marquee of the blue channel all right so then i'll go back to the layer panel here and i'm going to hide the separate alpha that we got from cinema 4d i'm going to make sure that i'm on the background layer and i'm going to hit ctrl j to cut the title out from the background all right so then i'm going to take this to my project here all right so i'm going to drag that and drop here first i'm going to convert this to a smart object because it's possible i may end up changing the weight of that 3D title, all right? So I'm gonna move this and position it, put this down line there, all right? This is good. So I'm gonna add on sharp marks to this. So why I always do this is, I always want to give this that plastic and this real, uh, you know, 3D look, all right? So I always apply on sharp mask to this first, all right? And I'm gonna make my amount, um, let's make it 60, all right? Now, the reason I'm doing this is this. If I zoom in now, you're going to see that I have this light. Should I call it specular? This effect of the light here on my 3D objects. Look at it here again. I also have it here. Now, the reason, we the reason why we have this is because of the unsharp marks that we applied to our 3D objects. All right, so I'm going to select the OK button. And if I zoom out now, this is what we have. And I think I'm loving this. So to make this more uh, interesting, so to create unity here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this first and zoom in and draw uh, an object selection here. So I'm just going to draw this here like that. No, sorry, I need to be on the layer, on the background layer. Draw this here like that. And, or I make the 3D title visible and select the layer of the 3D title. And I'm going to hold on Alt and click on the layer mask icon to trim that from the title and then we have this all right then i'm going to put the other text which is um doing the unexpected activate the free transform and make this smaller position this here like that and bam we have a, a movie poster like that so yeah so i'm going to stop here wow i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button and also remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video and if you're able to achieve this project or you're able to use the concept from this project to achieve any project kindly post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me
My Instagram handle is at Caesar Graphics, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.